You're on, yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Can they see me? Okay, so I'm just waiting for all of the questions to come in. Um, and then I'll start answering. Thanks, everyone, for coming and, um, and being on here as well. Oh, here we go. Hi. Okay, so anything anyone's got to ask me, feel free. And it's taken a while for people to do that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to answer some questions on that I've got from Facebook um, first, and then um, I'll get onto these ones on here just while everyone's tuning in and getting all their stuff. Um, okay, so I got a question from Jason Watkins saying, "When are you on tour again?" Um, and I'm hoping that I'm going to go on tour. Um, next year end of next year hopefully um when the uh, after the album's out so that would be really cool um someone said why did you choose james james need says why did you choose three songs um for the ep uh and i just thought it was a really good number three is a magic number um and as well these are three songs that are really special to me um, and that I really wanted to cover for a long time and I thought it th this would be a good time to be able to do it so that's why I covered those songs. Um, okay, so Kenny Tracy says, when are you going to tour in the USA? Again, I hope that it will be um, next year after the album. There's no firm plans yet, but hopefully after the album comes out. I should be, and Ty TH17 says, any plans on doing a show in Germany? I hope so, I love going to Germany. I really, really enjoy it. So again, hopefully after the album's out, I'll be able to do shows in Germany. Someone says, is Trouble officially the lead single from Glass Heart? Um, as yet, I'm not sure, because I'm still recording and still writing don't really know what song's going to be the best to start everything off so when I've finished the whole process then I'll be able to judge what song I want to be the first um, song. Um, Chris Rain says why her? It's a unique choice. Um, I think I, I was going to do her a while ago, a couple of years ago um, and this was the kind of opportunity to do it. I wanted to release an EP. I wanted to give you guys something because you haven't heard anything from me in, in a long time. And I'd been in the studio and I felt like a female perspective on her would be really powerful and, and come over really powerfully. Um, I love the um, Nine Inch Nails version and, and then Johnny Cash obviously covered it, which is amazing. I just always thought it'd be quite powerful to have a female um, perspective on the song. Um, I'm going to sing later, so I'll ask a few questions first and then I'm going to do a little song for all of you. Uh, well, I haven't done a video. Oh, um, Michael Monster <laughs> says, will you do a music video for her? But I haven't done a video for it yet. Um, it was, I don't think it really needs one. <laughs> we, Saf, um, Sapphire says, will you ever stop by NYC? I love New York. I was there um, a few months ago actually, doing a show out there for Fashion Week. Um, so yeah, definitely be coming to New York again. Someone says, who's your favorite member out of 1D? That's Laura G2132. <laughs> I like all of the boys. They're really, really sweet. And I definitely have a soft spot for Liam. He's a really sweet boy. 
someone says, what's your favourite track off the EP? Um, I really like performing Colourblind. Um, love the lyrics of that song and I really love performing that song live. How many songs have you... Someone says, how many songs have you recorded so far for the new album? Um, so far I've recorded about 11 songs. Um, all of them I really, really, really love. Um, and I'm just going to keep recording a bit more into the new year and see kind of what happens and what comes up. Al Lewis says, are you really doing a tribute soon for Maya Carey? Um, I haven't heard it. Uh, that one maybe it was confused I sang um, at a um, she was uh, receiving an, a humanitarian award for all of her humanitarian work and I sang at that um, it was Eva Longoria's foundation um, and I sang at that event so I think that's maybe where that got confused Ayn Boyle says who's your favorite singer I love you please answer <laughs> um, one of I've got a few favourite singers. One of them is Eva Cassidy. I love Tracy Chapman. Um, love Whitney Houston, Ella Fitzgerald, Leontine Price. Those kind of singers. Michael Monster X says, "What do you think about Little Mix winning?" Um, I'm really pleased that they won. I loved a lot of the the people on there I think they were really talented I do think that it was nice for a girl band to win um, and I think they're really talented girls so it'll be interesting to hear what they come up with um, because obviously they're all kind of really different so it'll be a cool um, mixture of sounds I think to come out of, of their stuff Paul Thong is, says sorry I can't pronounce your surname is Glass Heart going to have mostly up-tempo tracks? Um, no, not mostly up-tempo. Um, I mean, there is a bit of tempo in there, but um, it's there's it's a, definitely a, a very eclectic mix of songs. Rick Saggers says, Hi, Leanna, who is the most memorable person to introduce you to stage for a performance? Um... For some reason, Russell Brand <laughs> comes to mind. Um, he introduced me to perform when I did the MTV Awards um, with Lil Wayne. It's, it's random, but I think he's really funny and cool. Jalora's92 says, would you duet with Emily Sandy? Um, I love Emily. Um, we've worked together a bit and she's such a cool girl really love her style so that'd be really cool to to do a little song with her andy614 says have you worked with max martin again um i haven't worked with max so far on the album but it's not finished yet so who knows maybe um i will work with him again we'll have to see i think he's really talented someone says i love your jumper thank you i'm in the mood for christmas so it's not a jumper, it's like a t-shirt thing with the shoulder pads. <laughs> and Jay-Z says, is Nicola around today? Um, Nicola is not. Nicola had to chaperone a dance today, so she couldn't be here. But she sends everyone her love and says hello. The last time I did a Ustream was at um, Nicola's house. And it was quite funny because it kept like cutting out and we didn't know what to do. So now we have some people to help us make sure it goes smoothly this time. Um, Gagan01 says, what do you think of Adele? Uh, I love Adele, I think she's wicked. Um, love her new song, I think Ryan Tedder did it, um, Rumour Has It. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my favourite ones on her album. Um, oh, it keeps freezing, someone says, I don't know. Stefan Wheeler says, would you ever be a judge on The X Factor? Um, maybe one day, you never know. Uh, I think it's quite a hard task to do, quite, be quite emotional because people have to get sent home all the time and I guess you'll get quite attached, so I'm not sure, maybe. 
will you be visiting Australia anytime soon? Um, again, I hope to come to Australia. I was supposed to go this year to Australia, but hopefully next year I'll get to come back there. Um, the last time I went, I was in Sydney. I had an amazing time, so I'd really like to go back again. Saw you with Katy Perry at the Grammys. Are you a <laughs> duet with her? Willie Buddyman. Um, maybe, you never know. I've got uh, quite a few artists that I'd love to um, duet with or, you know, collab, do a collaboration with or something. So, um, and I think she's really cool. I actually watched her thing with Perez last night, the super fan. I thought it was really good and she came across really, really well and she's a really sweet girl. Um, what's your favourite Natasha Bedingfield song? That's the Mad, oh, the Mad Hatter. <laughs> um, uh, it has to be Unwritten or Angel for me. I really love the way she writes um, and I actually performed Unwritten with her a few weeks ago, so probably Unwritten. Stephen Harris says, what's your favorite animal? Um, probably horses, I really love horses. Leona, are you going to do a duet with someone like Jay-Z or CeeLo Green? Elliot 1301. Actually, I did do a duet. Um, I did Somebody to Love, Queen, with uh, CeeLo. Performed it with him at the Royal Variety, which was really cool. And if there was ever a rapper that I would do something with, I think it would probably be Jay-Z, because um, I think he's one of the best. in my belly <laughs> would you ever consider doing Destiny Smith would you ever consider doing a duet with Christina Perry love that song Jar of Hearts it's one of my favourites actually of this year so yeah that would be really cool are you have I Lee 3 says have you recorded a studio version of I'll Be There. No, I, I didn't record it. Um, it. I've just sang it live a few times. Um, I did it, it was mainly for the um, tribute concert to Michael Jackson. That was what that was for. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Okay, Alice Clough wants some tips on singing. <laughs> Um, just make sure you warm up um, and uh, look after your voice, keep your voice rested. Um, you know, if you're doing a show or something, make sure you're warming it up and warming it down. Um, yeah, and just be careful with it um, because it's your instrument and obviously it's not like a guitar where you can get another string. Um, once you damage it, it's damaged really, so you have to be careful um, and enjoy the stuff you're singing. Alice, sorry I can't even pronounce your surname, sorry. You say, do you still get really nervous before performing? Um, sometimes I get nervous, it depends what I'm doing really. Um, but yeah, it really depends, like if it's a, it, I, I definitely always get a bit nervous, um, but it depends if it's like intimate or if there's a bunch of people. Um, so yeah, it just depends. Someone says, what's your favorite? Jay-Z, again, says, what's your favorite Starbucks drink? Um, and it's caramel, oh, salted caramel hot chocolate. I really love it. <laughs> Tobias Jordan says, would you ever adopt a child? Um, maybe one day, but not right now. I find it hard to look after myself, so probably wouldn't be the best thing to have a child. Um, McSpashney, a name to my new bunny. Um, I would say, what bunny have you got, first of all? Um, depends what his personality is like, but Fluffy's always a nice one, or Scruffy. Um, Hopefield has um, a bunny called Scruffy there, and it's my favorite bunny, so maybe Scruffy's a good one. Sam Bright says, 
how many songs will be on Glass Hearts. Um, and again, I'm not sure yet because I haven't finished all of the songs. I really don't have a clue of how many are going to be on there yet. So we'll have to just wait and see. Best memory, Zabia says best memories of 2011. I'd say, that's a good question. Really loved performing with CeeLo, so that's definitely a, one of my highlights. Um, recording, meeting some really amazing songwriters um, and recording with them uh, this year, the beginning of this year has been really, really cool. Um, and the events at Hopefield Animal Sanctuary have been really memorable because we've been able to raise loads of money for them. So I think those are the three top moments for me of this year. D News One says, what is Santa bringing you? And I have no idea. I did ask for an electric toothbrush. Um, that's all I could really think of. It's a bit crap, but I really need one. Um, Carlo Spurfeld says, how was your time here in Germany? Um, and like I said, every time I go there, I really, really enjoy it. I always have a lovely time. Um, I've met some people there as well that I kind of have um, formed friendships with there. And so it's nice to go back and see them. And uh, now I feel like I really know um, Germany well now. So it's, it's always lovely to go back and I can't wait to go back next year. And Adam Berry says, love you, Leona. Are you coming to Ireland? Um, I hope to come to Ireland uh, next year. Again, probably summertime. I think it'd be nice to go to Ireland for summer. Someone says, what's your favorite song from Echo? I think my favorite songs from Echo are happy. The ones that I most like performing are happy. Um, and Broken. I wrote that one with John Shanks and I love performing that one. It's got like a huge choir at the end. It sounds really cool. Do you think Glass Heart will be a single at some point? Loved your performance at GAY. Again, really love performing that song. I don't know what, if it's going to be a single or not, um, but we'll have to see you next year. I'm going to read some questions um, from Facebook, just so I get everyone's like stuff in. Uh, Jack Evans says, can you cook? If so, what do you like cooking and what's your favourite food? Um, I can't cook that well, to be honest, but actually I did cook a nice roast dinner a little while ago and every, it went down really, really well with my friends, so I'm getting better. But um, as most of you are aware, I'm a vegetarian, so I love good vegetarian dishes like stir fries. I love Thai food. Um, I love really, really spicy food as well. So that's kind of my favorite stuff to eat. Um, Noodle Yang <laughs> says, I think I picked that because it's food. Your favorite song on any of the albums? Um, I, I'd have to say again, Broken is one of my favourites um, because I just love how epic and dramatic that song is. Um, Robbie Owen says you should definitely perform Broken Live at some point. Yes, love that song. Words Unspoken 22 says, what's one thing that always keeps you going? And I think it's my friends and my family, really. That's the one thing that kind of gets me through everything and can always rely on them. My brothers, my mum and my dad, um, and my best friends as well. Valencio Coco Mon Monet, that's nice says what's your favorite country to perform in um, I love performing in Germany um, I also love Canada 
really think the people there are amazing. Some, I've met some lovely, lovely people there, and every time I've gone there, everyone's been so lovely. So definitely Canada as well, so Germany and Canada, and of course, my hometown, London. Michael Monster says, would you duet with Bruno Mars? What song would you like to cover? Actually, every time I do gigs um, or a live show or something, I always do, uh, well, not always, but lately I've been doing Grenade, which I really like. Um, and I just do it like with guitar and it sounds really good. So probably Grenade would be a cool Bruno Mars duet to do. Nidal B says, who were you rooting for on this year's X Factor? Um, I really liked Marcus, I liked Misha B, and I liked Little Mix, so I'm glad that they all have done really well. Sam Clark 19 says, what's it like to work with Ryan Tedder? Um, and Ryan's wicked, he's awesome, such a good songwriter, and obviously I love One Republic, I love that band. And so it's really cool, every time I go and work with him, I go to Denver where he lives, and it's like so scenic and beautiful there. So we kind of just hang at his house and hang in his studio and um, record. And yeah, he's, it's a really nice atmosphere every time I go and work with him. And obviously musically, we just really mesh well together. So it's always a good outcome when I go there. Michael Monster says, who is your celebrity crush? Um, don't really have one at the moment. Um, I'll think about it and get back to that one. <laughs> Andrew Hol Holloway says, when are you performing in Wales? 10 minutes till I got rugby training. <laughs> um, <laughs> I um, love performing in Wales. I was there actually a few days ago because obviously my family lived there. Um, and again, like I hope to perform in Cardiff um, when I get back um, on the road next year. So that's when I hope to come there. But I'll let you know if I'm performing anywhere else. I'll put it on Twitter in Wales. Um, jo John Lee says, can you wish my friend Joey a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Joey. Have a good one. And Brad167 says, can you blow me a kiss? Well, just for you. Rodrigo Engel says, Leona, come to Brazil. I really want to go to Brazil so badly. I wanted to have a holiday there. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to make an excuse to come and perform there sometime. I haven't been to South America yet um, to perform. Um, so that's definitely one of the goals for next year or the year after. Puppy Heart says, what do you eat on Christmas Day. Um, I have a roast dinner, but I just don't have the meat. I just have corn instead. So I have everything, like the stuffing and the, I make Yorkshire puddings and roast potatoes and everything. Al Lewis says, can you speak Spanish? I wish I could, but no, I cannot. Ash Accolade says, what inspires you to write? Um, I'm inspired by loads of things. Um, I usually get inspiration like when I'm doing really mundane things like driving or I'm in the shower or brushing my teeth. Um, but yeah, movies inspire me. I've been inspired by a lot of soundtracks as well. Um, and life, obviously, my friends, family, things that they're going through, things that I'm going through. Um, and I write with a lot of great writers as well, so they inspire me too. Ooh. Geek Sassy says, what's your New Year's resolution? And my New Year's resolution, I've just made it now, um, is to cook for myself more because I feel like I eat out a lot at restaurants and stuff like that so I want to like try and cook for myself more just be more healthy um, be more conscious um, in that way to feed my body good things someone says how old is Melrose Melrose is almost 
Melrose is three now. Um, I put some pictures of her on Twitter actually because I found them on my Facebook from when she was a baby and she's like that small. She used to like fit in the palm of my hand and I used to put her in my pocket. Um, so yeah, she's three years old now and she's like that big. She's really big now. She can't fit in my pocket anymore. Andy614 says, any collabs on the album? Um, I don't want to give anything away, but I think there might be. So you'll have to see next year. Jonas Ali says, Leona African, love you. If you could change anything in the world, what would it be and why? Um, oh, there's so many things that I would change. But I would just, if I could have one thing, I'd have everyone that ever has, does any action or, or anything um, to make sure it comes from love and nothing else. And I think if that happened, a lot of things would change. Andy614 says, what's your track with Calvin Harris like? I haven't done a track with him yet. Well, actually, tell a lie, we did work together, um, but we are hopefully going to do something together in the future um, I think he's really talented so hopefully something comes out of that um, what words unspoken says what are you most thankful for um, most thankful for my friends and my family and for my health because I think that's the most important thing really Um, can you speak another language? Pierce of Frears says, can you speak another language? Give us a phrase. Um, I can't speak another language. I, speak, I can speak a tiny bit of German. And the only thing I say is meine kleine Süße, which means my little sweet one, basically, which I say to Melrose a lot because I'm obsessed with her. Um, Adam Berry says, did you like, sorry, this, the questions are going by so fast, I'm not being able to, to finish reading them, but I think what he was saying, did you like the fan book that we put together? And I love the fan book. Um, I received it um, probably like two weeks ago, and I love it. I've read all of your letters, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, you guys really, really inspire me, and it's just so sweet that you took the time to do that and to put it all together. So I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the fan book. Alice Clough says, are you still in close contact with Simon Cow? Um, and yes, I am still in contact with Simon. Um, I'm signed to his record label, so um, he's very much involved in, in the record and I'll be seeing him next week. Deborah Russell says, can I get a shout out? He actually says shot out, but I think that means shout out. So hi, Deborah. Hope you're having a nice night. Um, Alice Nagshinan says, what's your most embarrassing moment? And I think it's when I was doing the Christmas lights in the West End, my skirt ripped all the way up the front. So that was kind of embarrassing um, when, while I was performing, so I couldn't do anything about it. Um, let's see, Leona Lewis fan one says, Leona, did you receive products? Ah, sorry, I didn't get that. I think it was about an animal campaign. Um, but um, the campaign so far that I'm involved in are the red collar campaign with the WSPA, um, which is vaccinating dogs um, in uh, different countries that um, basically need to, uh, that where rabies is kind of a really, really high problem there. So that's one of the campaigns I'm involved in. I'm also involved in uh, the Cruelty Free Christmas campaign uh, where with the Humane Society, where we're asking people to have a veggie dinner for Christmas um, and to not give any um, animals as gifts, like kittens or dogs, because um, a lot of them end up being abandoned and also not buying anything for anyone that contains any animal products so I hope you guys are following that campaign 
and of course always um, with uh, Hopefield Animal Sanctuary um, which is always open for anyone to come down in Essex um, you can come down and and just uh, see all the animals that we've rescued there Oh, Rebecca Cunningham says your little giraffe is so cute. It's the cutest thing ever, and I love it so much. <laughs> Roy Baker says, Leona, what's your favorite book? Right now I'm reading Conversations with God, and I'm really, really enjoying that book. And I advise you guys to read it because it's really, really interesting. Green Freaka says, where did you hear about Hopefield? Um, I've been volunteering at Hopefield um, for a while now. Um, my Nicola, actually, is the one that um, was going there since she was like nine years old. And she told me about it. And it's the closest sanctuary to my house. So I started going down there. And then, obviously, I've become very much involved in it. And now I'm the trustee. So guys I hope you all support it and come down we've got a lot of amazing animals there so come down and visit us right time. oh so I'm gonna have a little bit more questions and then I'm gonna perform um, but we, I'm just gonna do a few more and then there is a guitar in the background you'll find out why soon That's disgusting. <laughs> Some people on here are nasty, shouldn't be on here. Um, would you ever judge a singing competition like Christine Aguilera and now Jessie J? I'm actually really looking forward to Jessie J um, uh, doing the voice I think she's doing. I think she'll be really, really good for it. I think she's an amazing artist. I'm proud that she's from the UK and representing us. But um, maybe, it depends. Um, Daniel. Cardosa says, can you sing opera? Um, and yes, I was classically trained. That's what I started off doing. Um, and I've been uh, doing that for years. I still um, practice it and, and really, really love it. Ryan Snitch says, how do you keep your skin flawless? Thank you. Um, just, I don't know really. I think uh, I just like, don't use any crap on my skin, use nice creams, moisturize, drink a lot of water. That's about it, really. Um, that's for Leon, Mother Monster, uh, Michael Monster's brother, Leon. <laughs> uh, Ryan Cornelia says, when will you come to South Africa again? Um, some of you guys might know I recorded the video for Run in South Africa and I loved it. I went to Cape Town. It was so lovely. Um, so again, hopefully, basically the consensus is next year I'll be visiting everywhere. So you have to come and see my shows when I come to your countries and your towns. Um, Adam Munir says he entered the designer dress competition and got into the top 50, was amazing. Thank you so much for entering into that competition. Um, I looked at all of the designs and I was going through them and I was talking to William Tempest as well who judged the competition and we were all so blown away. So thank you guys for getting involved in that because um, we just didn't know how much talent was out there and obviously you guys did such an amazing job. So. Thank you for entering into that. And we will be designing more dresses from that collection, um, but we'll let you know on Twitter and update you when we do design one. So thanks for entering. So Shane Smith says, what, who's your favorite artist of all time? And for me, I think it has to be Stevie Wonder. Um, I think he's incredible. Hi to all the Portuguese people out there on here. Thanks for coming on here and, and saying hi. Um, the Mad Hatter says you're playing Skyrim. How is that going for you? 
<laughs> not too well, I have to say. Um, I'm struggling. <laughs> Danny McCutcheon says, can you please cover David Bowie sometimes? You two are my Brit legends. Well, wow, that's a big honor. I love David Bowie. I think everyone knows how much I love him here. Um, I was gonna cover one of his songs actually, but um, I, I might still end up doing it, so you never know. My favorite, Chris Rain says, what's your favorite instrument? Um, and I think it would be, I love the harp. Um, I was in New York earlier in the year and this woman was in the park like playing the harp and it was so amazing so yeah I think I love that. Who are you collaborating with on Fireflies says Sam Clark. I didn't even know you guys knew about Fireflies. You guys like sometimes just know so much you know more than me um, but I'm not sure who I'm going to collaborate with on Fireflies, but um, there's definitely going to be some um, collaboration on there, but we haven't figured it out yet. All right, so I think I want to answer, I do have siblings, Al Lewis, I've got two brothers. Um, and I'll just answer like two more and then I'll, I'm going to perform for you guys. I want to give a shout out to Shana Marie. Thanks for being on here. Giel Prisanoso said, have you ever met Gaga? And I did. I met Gaga, weirdly, in the female lavatory <laughs> um, at the Brits last year. And um, yeah, she's she's really, really sweet girl. Um, Favourite male singer currently, says Mervyn. Um, I really like Ed Sheeran, I think he's got a really good voice, um, I always love Stevie Wonder's song, songs um, and his voice, um, he's probably my favourite of all time. Hi to anyone on here from Singapore, thanks for coming on. Um, I loved performing in Malaysia um, and I will come back there soon. That was for Curious. All right, so sending everyone big love, loads of hugs and kisses. Thank you all so much for coming on here. I'll do this again. Um, but before I go, we're going to do a little performance for you. Um, I'm just going to have some water. <laughs> Kiss to Kyle and Steph. Kyle's my brother's name, so I had to get that in there. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the hearts. <laughs> um, we'll do this again. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy the EP. Um, enjoy her. It's all for you guys. Thank you so much for your patience while I'm writing and recording. Um, you've been amazing. So this is for you guys. Um, enjoy the EP. Bye. Mwah.